Hi, my name is Michelle Goldring, and I did my current event on an article from Business Week called JCPenney CEO Ron Johnson Loses Supporters on Wall Street. This article was published on Thursday, March 7, 2013. A little history about JCPenney, it was founded about 110 years ago in Texas by James Cash Penney. His motto was to treat others the way you'd like to be treated, fair and square, which has now become JCPenney's motto. There are currently over 1,100 retail stores across the United States and in Puerto Rico, mostly located in shopping malls. The current CEO, Ron Johnson, was recruited in order to reinvent the retail experience and join the JCPenney team in November 2011. So the article explains that Johnson created a four-year transformation plan, which would basically remove all the coupons and promotions that JCPenney has been offering for years and instead, Johnson wanted to implement, he wanted to implement an everyday low prices concept, which the results of the first year came out pretty disastrous. Um, shares lost more than half of their value. In addition, sales decreased by 25% and $4.3 billion in revenue was lost, resulting in a total net loss of $985 million in 2012. Many investors sold, sold a large portion or all of their shares during 2012, and those who didn't sell lost a lot of money. Bill Ackman is JCPenney's largest shareholder with 18% of the company, and he lost $606.5 million in stock last year alone. Currently, JCPenney is Standard & Poor's 500 stock index, second most heavily shorted stock which means that they are selling their stock in hopes to repurchase them at a lower price because they believe that the prices are continued to go down. On March 6th, shares fell to a four-year low of $14.96. To sum up the article, a shareholder, Stephen Kale, perfectly stated that those people who are interested in short term are shorting the stock or want Johnson out, but those who are looking at it from the long-term perspective are looking to see what this transformation could bring, which could be multiples of the current share price. After this year, Johnson decided to change the plan and the concept to a store within a store and have different boutique type departments throughout the store. Currently, JCPenney has a domestic corporate level strategy. They are based in and have stores only in the United States and in Puerto Rico. Currently, there are about 1,100 stores, and they lease out departments to other major brands such as Sephora and Seattle's Best Coffee, which is what Johnson is planning on to expand on. The main strategic issue was when Ron Johnson became the CEO and didn't take into consideration the type of customer and retail experience that JCPenney currently had and worked really well for them. J uh, Johnson had a vision and went forward with it full force and now has to re he has to revise the entire strategy due to the effects it had both with sales and on the overall image of JCPenney. My recommendation would be to keep the core strategy as well as the staff and management to help rebuild a positive reputation and bring back investors because Johnson was also firing a lot of employees to bring in his own team. Um, historically, JCPenney has been very successful, and again, I believe the situation could have been avoided if Johnson would have taken into consideration the type of customer and environment that he was dealing with instead of just on his image. So that's my current event. Thank you very much.